last episode, Simona Brunn altered costumes during the rehearsal, and Katharina Dietrich's choreography had to be changed again. There are now just two days to go until the premiere. The last costumes have arrived just in time for the dress rehearsal. The sewing department at the Berlin Friedrichstadt Palace Theatre was only able to do half the work in-house. The time is always so tight that we have to work with outside firms. Each of the 500 costumes has been made to measure. Just before the rehearsal starts, the final costumes are handed out to the dancers. There's always a name written on the costume. Both the outside firms and our tailors do that, so that the wardrobe assistants know who to give them to. Today, the cast is rehearsing for the first time with the final lighting design. More than 1,000 spotlights are in use for the world's largest theater stage. For Katharina Dietrich, the dress rehearsal means she now has to keep to a strict timetable. My eyelashes are sticking to my upper lid. Can you see? Oh, I think it's all right now. I couldn't close my eyes. Oh, no, I'm late. There are over 100 artists in the cast whose performance have to be coordinated. This is the first time that the show will be performed from beginning to end without a break. A key point is changing costumes. Sometimes the costumes have to be changed very quickly, and we've never rehearsed that until now. This is when we see if there's something we haven't thought of. The show lasts around two and a half hours, all told. Dancer has an average of six costume changes. With all the rush backstage, things can get a little confused and staying cool isn't always easy. Uh, uh, coffee? One dancer appears to have lost his bearings. Simona Brunn is finally able to locate him and make sure he gets taken to where he needs to be. <laughs> Meanwhile, Katharina Dietrich is going through her first choreography one last time next to the stage, while other members of the cast look on and offer a few tips. Then it's her turn, and she takes to the stage for her first performance. She's accompanied live by the show band, which is on a bridge 14 meters above the stage. Katharina Dietrich has managed her first scene. Now she has to change costumes. So how was it for her? Strenuous. It was really quite different with the full lighting. We've only had provisional lighting till now. Now it starts off really dark. But it was okay. The dress rehearsal gets to about a third of the way through, and then suddenly an announcement over the speakers makes everyone jump. Please clear the stage. There's been an incident. Everyone wants to know what's happened. The stage is currently off limits. The rehearsal has been suspended. Katharina Dietrich still doesn't know what's happened. 
And today we had a bit of an accident with the bridge for the band, up there where the percussionists sit. That's really put us back. It's an important part of the show. We're going to have to decide what to do. But safety has to come first, and because the bridge with the musicians became unstable, the dress rehearsal couldn't be continued. The set design team meets to discuss what to do. In the next episode of Following the Dream, will all the problems be solved in time for the premiere? <laughs>